Your mental firewall has just been breached by Left Handed Radio. Get your quarters ready. It's about to, about to go down. This is the podcast for laundry. I'm your host, Brett Davis. Welcome to the show. This is a show that is meant to be listened to while you're doing your laundry and no other time. So don't let me catch you fucking listening while you're at the beach or riding on your Harley. Uh, uh, I'm really excited. Uh, this is this is the podcast that is meant to be listened to while you're doing your laundry. And I am here at the Zune laundromat with two very funny, funny comics. Uh, I'm just going to say their names. Martin Urbano and Kelsey Kane. Yeah. You did a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Did I mispronounce? No, you nailed it. I think you did a good job. I think I said Urbano. I don't... I don't know, you know? I Our name's it. supposed to be for you to say, not for me to nitpick. I wasn't sure if your name was Martin or Marky. <laughs> so I'm, that, that part of it, I'm glad I didn't, uh, I didn't screw up. Do you prefer Martin? I I prefer Marky. Okay. Thank you. So you do go by Marky generally. Uh, you know, whatever you feel like calling His me. Family I, I calls don't believe him in names. I don't, I don't believe in money. I, I know, but I'm I'm asking you what you're you're comfortable societal with. Societal constructs like names and So your name is Martin Urbano, but we'll call junior, you Marky. Yeah. Hmm? Junior. Yeah. Junior. Do you prefer Junior? No, just Marky Jr. I'd throw that out there. Marky Jr. I uh, yeah, I could do that. Okay, let's get uh let's get started. As you see here, I'm placing a bottle of Tide detergent on the table uh, here in the back room of the Zune laundromat. Is this your local laundromat? I don't I don't go to this one now, but oh, I'm a this fan. is right near where you said you were. We go to the other Zune laundromat Zune on two. the other side of town. Zune two. It's not closer, but it is better. Yeah, well, that's that's what makes you America's sweethearts. Uh, you, you do your own thing, and you. So I've got this bottle of Tide detergent. Uh, it is, as you can see, the label is facing you. If at any point in the conversation you want to turn the tide, you all you need to do is spin this bottle, and it literally turns the tide. Toward, whoa, you're turning! It immediately M- was too much. Mix I it up. Handle the mix pressure. it up. Yeah. Let's, this is. I couldn't hear the rest of the rules. Yeah. First off, last week this happened too. Now you've oh, well. lost your. No, okay. no, you can. Turn it Sorry, back. I'm moving turn the it. Tide back. You can't turn the tide back. You, yes, you did. can. Not in this segment. So oh. I am moving this back to the ground. Okay. Wow. <sighs> and, I knew uh, it was going to go this way. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if we go down a, a conversation, uh, conversational path that you're uncomfortable with, you're oh, kind of okay. fucked. Oh. So uh, what, what we do on the show is we talk about laundry, and uh, I always like to start off with this one. What's your turge? Hold for bumper. What's your turge? What's your turge? <laughs> Are you asking us? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. What's your turge? I don't know why I didn't feel like that was a question. It's... Maybe because he didn't set it up at all. What's your turge? What's I mean, I don't whatever ones they use when I, I use a, a drop off service, so you know, whatever they feels best, it makes my hmm. clothes like smaller and smell nice. I like bleach. They're making your clothes smaller, huh? Oh yeah, every single time. But you still use drop off. Yeah, well, what am I gonna go come here to Zoom Two. myself? Yeah. We're here. It's lovely. The ambiance is great. There's a nice white noise of all it's the machines It's real quiet. Humming. But I prefer to just drop it off. Why? What's wrong with that? Do you not drop off ever? <laughs> Have what? you ever tried it? What kind of fucking... Have you ever tried dropping off? No. Okay. And you never would? I don't think I never would. So you would? I... Do you? No, I don't. I just never. All right. You never. Have. Let's say you were hosting. Like let's say you were hosting the podcast for hunting. And uh, 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 the topic was venison. And then you're like, I get all my venison at the store. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But the people would be so upset. That'd They'd make be for like, an interesting guest. I'd assume everybody else. But is you'd be about the host. Hunting and yeah. Then, oh, you're supposed to know what the act of the hunt. But you is. should. Oh, I see but you saying. should know. 
how all the ways to hunt are. Yeah, that's to a be way a to host. Hunt. You know, what? I I will consider this next week. I will. It just seems like you're misinformed. I will try to to drop off. Do you also drop off? Yeah, everyone drops off. <laughs> everyone drops. You know, most everyone of the guests. Most of the guests I've had on the show. They're do lying. Drop off. They do. Oh, okay. Oh, no, they, they do, do it. They do. Oh, they yeah. do it. Okay, I'm sorry. I called them. So liars. what are you talking about? I'm sorry. So I'm just. This is. I mean, the the whole idea of the podcast is that you're supposed to listen to it while you're doing your laundry. And when everybody's dropping off. I days. listen to it when they're doing my laundry. Is that the same? It's not the same. Because you could, I'm, unless unless you're sitting waiting for them to do the laundry. They're very nice. Sometimes I do. So you, you'll wait there for like and I watch. two hours? I feel like that's. That's it's a service then. I'm paying for. It's like also entertainment. Yeah, I can do it. They're you very nice. Whenever. You're entertained by them doing your laundry. They're very nice. It's I don't want to put the clothes in the actual thing and mm-hmm. touch, you know, God knows what. And they're clean. They're self-cleaning. Have to, you know, so I like watching them do it. You know. Yeah. The, the inside of the machine is self-cleaning and then they, most, I don't know. most laundromats do a pretty good job. Zoom laundromat. Uh, has uh, five stars from Jenny C. She calls it the best laundromat in the world. Awesome machines. It has an ATM machine. Uh, there's carts to put laundry in. The prices are unbelievably cheap. Well, you know, it sounds like she's just describing any, any laundromat. But S- Sounds like a bot. No, no, no. I think Jenny C is real. Uh, let's see what else Jenny C has reviewed. And uh, if, if you want to, um, this is user ID underscore zero W capital L uh, uh, O capital A N dash uh, capital O J F four Z uh, capital L R capital F capital V K seven K X W. Um, it seems like V F K. She, she's uh, reviewed a, a Starbucks in Chattanooga, Tennessee, <laughs> and a Starbucks in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and uh, a Gap in Upper Montclair. What'd she say about Gap? Five stars. Five stars for Gap? This Gap is a good one. It has a lot of clothes to just do your clothes. Shopping a good, 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 good Gap. It is a very good place to be. I'm going to give that. And she said that about a Gap? Yeah. I'm going to give that a useful. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Did she only give five stars to all those places? Uh, She gave five stars to Checkers in Brownsville Mm -hmm. and uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Brownsville where? Brownsville, New York. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken in Lawrence, Kansas. Okay, you. Isn't you guys Jayhawks fans? Not anymore. Is Checkers literally where your sister works? Huh? Does no. she work at Cheddar's? Che- Cheddar's. Mm. What's Cheddar's? It's a, I it's thought a it fine was Checkers. dining establishment. Hmm. A la, uh, you know. Fuddruckers. Thank you. Yeah, Fuddruckers. Do you know Fuddruckers? Oh, I know Fuddruckers. Yeah. I yeah. wouldn't His call sister. it fine dining though. Oh. Come on. You What's would. your definition of fine dining? You don't order at a counter. You t- uh. Oh, my. Do you order at a counter or Fuddruckers? I've never been to Fuddruckers. Fuddruckers, you order at a counter, but then they bring you yeah. the food. Uh, I no. think that's fancy. No. But, like, McDonald's does that now. I, are you well, calling yeah, yeah, McDonald's yeah. not fancy? Yeah. We're, have you seen The Founder? Ugh. With, with Batman in it. Yeah, have you? Ugh. <laughs> I found it weird that Batman was trying to make this. The timeline is all off now. <laughs> Because he looks old in this one, but it's in the 50s. And I thought his parents were, like, killed in the 50s. I'm always confused like by the, that complicated Marvel universe. Yeah. Well, uh, what's your, what's your, where are you both from? I'm from Brownsville, Texas. Brownsville, Texas. Yeah. My sister works at Cheddar's. So th- we were so close to having a lot to talk about, but. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's not. No, it's Brownsville, Checkers, New York. Brownsville, New York. Uh, you know, yeah. I can't relate to any of that. I don't have anything to say about either of those two things. Uh, you know, she says about this Checkers in Brownsville, New York. Lots of food, for example, many hamburgers, lots of chicken, and as many burgers and as many things to cool you down, like ice cream. <laughs> Sounds like you know, like a kid writing that or something. <clears throat> well, you know, everybody writes differently. We'll get to. I mean, I didn't mean insulted. I'm just saying, like. You know, liking ice well, cream, she's a kid. saying the word many over I and over again. I just can't get over But you have to be 18 to be on Yelp. I'm just trying to call it fraud when I see it. But I you, can't get you know. over that she likes Gap. <laughs> Why I not? I can't get over it. You don't like Gap? No one this likes Gap. This jacket's from Gap. No one likes Gap. This jacket I'm wearing right now. It's from I'm Gap? I'm planning on getting to watch I Gap. never would have started dating you if I knew that. 
My sister got it for me. You know, she works at Cheddar's. Oh. In Brownsville. I used to work Brownsville, at a Gap. Texas. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's where uh that's where I mean they were they were hired they hired me because I uh, already knew perfect square folding. From where? From doing laundry as a kid. Oh, bring it up. You can do it laundry. freehand. You know, you're you a pro at this. Yeah. yeah. You can freehand perfect square fold? Mm-hmm. Can you show us what it looks like? Yeah, somebody take off their, uh, yeah. The jacket's going to be tough, but I could do it. Should and be tough for a Do you ask someone master. to take off there and then not yeah. say anything at the end? Yeah. I mean, I... Prove it. it. This is a video uh, podcast. Right? No, it's not a video podcast, oh. but I'll demonstrate a perfect square fold right now. Make sure they hear the zipper. Kay. Oh, right, the zipper. That, that. Was, that was the first test, whether or not you zipped it up. Yeah. Well, well, if he good. didn't do that, I'd know. Yeah. That'd and be then we'll amateur. Do this. Oh. Perfect square fold. Wow. It's. I don't think it's perfect. Well, I didn't. Uh, we're, the, the table here at the back of Z- uh, Zoom is pretty small, but I'd say it's pretty good for me doing it freehand in the air. We're going to just leave it here and just you can look at it every so often, you know. Think about what you did. What did I do? I did oh. a pretty decent square fold. You said perfect at first, and now you're really <laughs> going backwards on it. It went it's down. perfect. And so you're back to perfect. Shut up. Don't disrespect my folding. Hey. I was just, this I thought I was being pretty polite about it. Honestly. Now, well, it seems like you, you were needling me, both of you. And, uh, it's just a square fold, man. We're just trying to be entertaining on the podcast. For this work, I was polite. Yeah, I'm, Martin. I mean, we're just Marky. I, I, I was going all out. I mean, that's the difference between you and I. But you know, I'm sorry. Hey, you know I what we're gonna do? Me. You know what we're gonna what, do? What we're we gonna, gonna do a segment that's called the Spin Doctors. Oh, sh- hold for bumper. Just go ahead now. All right. So uh, in this uh, in this segment, what we do is we have some listener mail. Uh, the laundry heads that listen to this show are uh, avid and know that even though while I'm not a trained laundry professional, I don't work at a laundromat, I do have a lot of experience with it and a lot of passion for it. So uh, what, what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to read some uh, letters that people have sent in. Uh, if, if you want to uh, message us, uh, it's, it's on Twitter at, uh, at TPF Laundry, and you could... Uh, send in your own uh, listener mail but uh this is this first one um hi brett i love the show oh i recently moved into an apartment building with built-in laundry and it's changed my life however sometimes i'll encounter i'll encounter clothes in the dryer and i never know how long to wait before i take them out to put mine in is there a laundry etiquette about this waiting in wisconsin so as drop-offs you probably don't know a thing I about this. I watched them do it though, so I know still. But this is about an in a, like a, a, a laundry washer dryer in an apartment building. In the building, not in the actual apartment. I've, right? Yes. I've used those too. Yeah. Well, you were saying that like, everybody drops off. A lot of people have those and a lot of people have washer dryers in their house. This is a New York bias. But uh what what would you what would you recommend? How long would you wait? I I would never use a building laundry. Why not machine? Is that what you call it? Yeah. I don't even. I don't well, a washing I don't, machine and a dryer. If it's not in my apartment, then I'm already leaving. I got to look good. I got to put on a suit. You know to go outside. You don't have to put on a whole suit. You don't. No. Oh. And if this is you're not going outside, you're just going down. Well, into your I basement, could, but presumably. I could bump into. It's in the my basement. Neighbors. Mm-hmm. A rat? It's in the basement, you said? Yeah. 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 It's in the basement. Uh, Did she say that? She didn't say that. It's a, so you're just assuming It's built in that? laundry, but What if it's on the roof? Or in... The I'd do it if it was on, on the roof. Well, that would be fun. A Maybe rooftop, she's, washer, and dryer? She's in Wisconsin, though. you got a limited oh, amount Wisconsin. of time to do your laundry on the roof. Uh, only a, a few summer yeah. spring months where that'll be comfortable yeah. for you. That's how often... People in Wisconsin do laundry sometimes. They just stockpile it. That's what I've heard So they about can save for the winter. Wisconsin, yeah. They don't do laundry. Plus, off, you just wear a often. jacket the whole time. You know, you cover up. You can wear the same yeah. shirt over and over. I guess so. Yeah. So, but but let's get back to the topic at hand. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> uh, y- you're doing your laundry. Let's just mm-hmm. pretend mm-hmm. that you do this. Okay. 
Uh, and I watch them do it. You've seen, well, yeah. You, you've watched people in their apartment building doing their laundry? Yeah, I've done that too. What do they say to you? We don't talk. So you just kind of stand by. You can just be in an apartment laundry area. How do Anyone. you get into the apartment? Some of them are just open. Okay. Some of them are just, you can just go in, you can hang out if you're looking for a place to just spend some time. Mm-hmm. So the concept of an apartment laundry machine is it's that a social you, can, you area. can take it down and leave an apartment it there laundry room. and hang out. Yeah. There's and, like, a chair. Get drinks. And Sometimes there's a, a rickety plastic chair. Have, okay. Yeah. And what if there are two people there at once? Well, do they have to only one person take you turns or? You don't have to talk. You don't have to talk. Oh. You don't have to talk. You just come in and. You can you just be there. So what's the point? You sit in the is rickety plastic chair. I, st- like I, I stand. I like to just lean against the wall and kind of text. Okay. But so then they. Well, let's let's do a. Let's do a little act out here. I'll um, watch. Marky, you're, you're actually going to be the guy walking oh, in. Okay. And I will be the, uh, I will be God. Huh? I will this be God fun. watching, watching this omnisciently. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now you're, you're, you're not doing the audio of it, but you're doing the motion <laughs> of a guy. Jogging in. Having a good, good day. Okay. And then. Just describe what you're doing. Oh, okay. Uh, opening, opening the laundry machine. Mm-hmm. Washing machine. Uh, laundry machine, and then in Wisconsin they say laundry machine. Putting this perfectly Fine. square folded jacket inside. Mm-hmm. He made a joke. And it's in there. Yeah. And then closing it back up. Okay. Zip it up. Now, what you're saying is this you closing up the machine? Is, now, is this you a- adding additional uh, like commentary to what he's doing? No. Okay. So, what are what are you doing while this is going on? I'm kind of, I'm doing my laundry over here. But she's directing me. I'm doing it over here. But you, I thought you'd just go and hang out. I had to hang out, but then. Are you, you know, still I, God? Ha, ha, I, I caught you in a lie. I can do laundry. I never said I couldn't do it. Well, yeah, I never said I couldn't do it. This is what we were acting out. Is I never said I couldn't I do it. I believe you, but this is what we're acting out, is that you're you're just hanging out in a stranger's apartment building. Oh, I'm a part of this act out. Yeah. So let's begin again. All right. I can do Take laundry. Take two. And we'll do the right scene this fucking time. So, you want to do a little, a little jaunty march? Right. Da, 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 da. Run it back in. Mm-hmm. Open up the thing. Yep. You're doing great. <sighs> Putting this perfectly so wait, square folded pause. jacket. Uh-huh. <laughs> are you giving him, like, are you saying, oh, you're doing great? Like, this is, this you is would how say I that? would act. She's directing me. Okay. So that's no. I'm just also. He- I'm not a part of you. Oh, but that seems a little patronizing that you'd say to it that to a stranger. I d- I think it's positive human connection. Okay, so um, this I think most I'm people would here. enjoy. Can women be directors? I I can't. I'm a little lost. Don't get me started on that. Just zip up the laundry ah, machine. Okay. 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 So. Let's be clear. Are you are you playing yourself at the moment? Yes. Okay. So now this this person that's just in your laundry room. This is just someone making conversation. You're just, oh, you're. But are you still God? I'm still God. Oh, he never stopped being God. Being this God. Whole time? Yeah. Because ah. I can see all. That's why we've been talking so much. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. So you, you're you're walking in, and then it's like, oh, you're doing great, and you're gonna just like ignore that. No, no. He throw me a nice smile with your eyes. <laughs> Oh wow, there's this is cool. Uh, you yeah. wouldn't say uh, you wouldn't say like, oh, wait, where do you live? Uh, so no, he wouldn't say what that. A, what apartment are you in? <laughs> I'm. I don't feel comfortable talking to you. She thinks you're a rapist now. I'm not a rapist. Oh, okay. I just want to know what apartment you live in. I I don't live so in. So I can know. I don't live in this building. No, That's not he what I asked. You're a rapist. Get out of that. Do one. you think that? Hmm. Do you think that? I mean, 
Only rapists are ever really dodgy about where they live, yeah. I'm not gonna tell you guys where I live. Okay. Who are, who's the other guy? You, God. God? You said you're... So are you referring... I'm not gonna tell you where I live. If you meet somebody on the street, it's like, oh, how, how are you guys doing? It's like, I'm doing fine. Who's the other person you're referencing? And then you're like, God. Yeah, that's fine too. Weird. Religious freedom. Weird. All right, let's wrap this scene up. Are you gonna have sex or not? Well, I don't know. That's up to, uh, you know, the old rapist over here, right? Well. <laughs> so, uh, uh, to answer the question, I'd say uh, 15 what? minutes, 30 if you want to be extra polite, but I think anything longer than that the warmth of the uh, dryer will uh, fade a bit and you'll be uh, you won't be doing anybody a favor that's a great point yeah Hey, Forever Dog listeners, it's Jonathan Braylock, Draw Milligan, and James III from Black Men Can't Jump in Hollywood. This year, we have seen what staying silent can do. And right now, you have an unprecedented opportunity to speak up, cast your vote, and be heard. It's never too early to register to vote, but it might be too late before you know it. We want to help make it easy for you to register and have a plan for November 3rd or before if early voting is an option in your state so that your country can finally reflect your values. Yes, go to foreverdogpodcast.com slash vote to register. Check on your registration often. You should do it like every day to make sure and learn how to fill out your ballot. <laughs> I don't know about every day, but listen. Every day. <laughs> All right, still register. Good. Am I good? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Got to make sure people care. All right, each state is different, so make sure you're following local rules and regulations. And remember, your voice, your vote. That's foreverdogpodcast.com slash vote. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Y- yeah, but how about a vote? All right, go vote. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Forever Dog listeners. This is Julie Klausner. And I'm Tom Sharpling. And we host a podcast called Double Threat on the Forever Dog Network that we are commanding you to subscribe to. Tom, what is Double Threat? Well, thank you for asking, Julie. Double Threat's a show where you and I listen to clips of things that drive us up the wall, and we make fun of them, and we make each other laugh, and we have a great time doing it. And we watch silly things and listen to silly clips, like Alec Baldwin interviewing Woody Allen on his podcast, which was a nightmare from hell. And did you know that disgraced pizza magnate Papa John is giving tours of his mansion over on TikTok? We do, because we watched it, and it was not good. By the way, we should also mention that the AV Club named us one of the best podcasts of 2020 because they did, and it's true, and we are, baby. And here on Double Threat, we got great guests. We had guests like Jesus and Mero. Bob the Drag Queen. Patton Oswalt. Io a debris. And that, my friends, is just the tip of the iceberg. That Double is- Threat comes out each and every Monday, and you can subscribe on the Forever Dog Network, Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Do it. Subscribe. Goodbye. Your podcasting feed was just hacked by Left Handed Radio. Left Handed Radio. Left Handed Radio. Uh, uh, we, we've got another uh, letter. Are you going to take it seriously? When you this say time? letter, do you mean over the internet? This one was mailed uh, to my apartment. So people know where you live? I guess so. Where do you live? I live in Bushwick as well. What's your address? Um, uh, 475 <laughs> Irving Avenue, apartment 3B. And what's the zip code? 11237. And they can just send anything there? Yeah. That's good to know. Mm-hmm. So I, I welcome whatever you have for me. Uh, uh, so this is... Uh, Hi, Brett. Love the show. Oh. The laundromat near me closed. Now there are no laundromats nearby? I have been wearing filthy clothes for days now. My socks have hardened and turned tan. My shirts are damp when I put them on. I have been having panic attacks for a week. For a week. My, my cat has also passed on due to miscare. What to do, what to do, dot, dot, dot. Murderer in Mississauga. They ended that murderer? 
Whoa, yeah, I guess. That, like a dash and then murder? I, I thought that was like, uh, it's, it's like murderer in Mississauga. Where is Mississauga? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it might be in Ontario because the envelope mm-hmm. had a Canadian. And they just know where you live. Yeah. And I asked them not to put their actual name for privacy reasons. For their privacy? For their privacy. But they know your name. Yeah. Like is it kind of worrying? Waiting in Wisconsin isn't what that person goes by. Oh, it's not? No. I knew a waiting. I knew one, too. Okay. In Texas, well, there ju- are lots of waitings. This is just a, a name, though. Or like a nickname. A nickname. Mm-hmm. Okay. I throw the envelope out so I don't see it. What do you what is the nickname based off of? Is it like shortened version yeah, of or like a character I think it's, well, trait? Like, it's exactly so it's a character I, trait. Like waiting in Wisconsin is like, well, I'm waiting to do my laundry and I'm in Wisconsin. So, so it's like oh. murderer in but there, was it Mississippi? Mississauga. Boston. Right. Oh, Mississauga. Where is Mississauga? Uh, but I, I think it's just like. It's a nickname they, sometimes the someone naming, gave them. Yeah, Mississauga. uh uh, yeah, Southern Ontario. And this is just a nickname. And they're a murderer or someone calls them murderer? This could be like a... There are very few M words. So it could just be based on... Yeah. Just alliteration-based yeah. choice. Like, what are you going to say? Like, miss... Like, miss... Miss... I don't know. Oh. Murderer, Sure. I get. Let's get to the the topic at oh, hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laundromat near me closed. There are no laundromats nearby. I've been wearing filthy, filthy clothes. My socks have hardened and turned tan. My shirts are damp when I put them on. Uh, panic attacks. My cat passed on due to miscare. What to do? What to do? What would you? Do your shirts get damp if you leave them all dirty? Well, I think. I guess if you have sweat. If you're wearing them with such frequency that when you take them off, they don't have time to dry. Mm. You have to really miscare for a cat for it to die. Why? They really survive on their own for a long time. So this is weird that the cat died? It's just interesting that they also called themselves murder. It's interesting those both those things are in one. Do you think? One letter to you to your address. <laughs> well, dude, it's like he killed his pet cat. I'm not saying that. He said specifically miscare. <laughs> Which he, you know, no offense, murderer, but uh, you're not doing great with your laundry either. <laughs> so are we supposed to be answering a question or something? Yeah. Or like what's what, his question? So what he should do? I will put it into my words. Okay. Uh, this guy <laughs> clearly <laughs> going through a lot. Can you give yourself a nickname at the end, though? Sure. Okay. That would make me comfortable. He's clearly going through a lot. Um, uh, he uh, is... Having a tough time with life, and then the laundromat closed. It clearly doesn't have a in-home washer dryer. So, what would you do in that situation? Uh, oh, um, uh, drop, uh, drop, uh, drop off, service. Uh, drop off service. Uh, best in Bushwick. Chance. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. But uh, now, drop off service. It, uh, people come like a fly cleaners well, or. Or there's an app. There's an app you can get somebody to come to your house. to your apartment. They'll come inside. They'll let your you know, cat they'll, free. They'll look around. The and cat's dead. You can give them the yeah. But this is if this is in the past. Yeah. This is if he gets he, a new cat, cat or she. The 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 cat is dead. But this is a new cat. But if cat. they get a okay, like a, this person is gonna get another I cat for like, sure. Uh, I, I no, mean, if you're Garfield. if cats are dying due to miscare, they're I gonna would get think. another cat. You think so? Yeah, it's a cycle. Third time's a charm. You third have to time. try. Did you ever cats have a fish? Cats have nine lives. Third no. time's a charm. You, you never had a fish. No. I had a fish. Oh. It it got very sick. Oh. It couldn't swim mm-hmm. at the top of the bowl anymore. It just swam on the bottom. And my mom kept it in a big parfait dish. Mm-hmm. And it just swam on the bottom, just on one side of its body. It would just swim. 
and my cat would lick the water off the top. A parfait dish sounds somewhat shallow. No, it was very. It was a big dish, like for for a large parfait. Okay, Texas. But yeah, a big parfait dish. Yeah, everything is big parfaits. (laughs) But still, I mean, (laughs) fish usually like a fish tank is pretty deep and and wide. I mean, it was just one goldfish, Goldie, just swam Mm -hmm. one one paw, one little swimmy, just all by itself. My mom would it come. It'd come oh. eat when my mom fed it, and then, you know, when it definitely did die, definitely. And then um, after that, we I couldn't eat parfait anymore out of that dish. Hmm. Or do laundry. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, that that is not bad advice, actually. If you've got a, a big dish or maybe a bathtub, all you need to do is get some hand soap, and you could honestly do a decent job of cleaning your clothes. At least get them to where your socks aren't crusty and tan. And uh, that would I be didn't my even advice. Think about that. I mean, it, it sounds like maybe there could be a possibility of people not having, or, I'm sorry, murderer not having a lot of money because of the miscare of the cat. I'm deducing that maybe there's not enough for cat food or veterinary visits or whatever. So, yeah, uh, you know, make make the sink, make the bathtub, make a make a large dish, make that your uh, home laundry machine and uh, sorry, washing machine, and uh, you know, just have at it. And, you know, that's the first step to getting your life back together is feeling good in your clean clothes. How about another uh, question? Uh, Hi, Brett. Love show. (laughs) I fuck the socks up that I make laundry and I lose them. One fucking one fucking drawer. Bunch one socks. Why the fuck? How do fix? Fucked in Frisco. So... First off, did he fuck his sock? Her? I'm gonna. Re- or her? I'll repeat this. I fuck the socks up that I make laundry and I lose them. One fucking drawer. And drawers wildly misspelled. How bunch. Do they spell it? Bunch. D r o r r e. R e. Bunch one socks. Why the fuck? How do you fix? Fucked in Frisco. I'm gonna assume this is a ESL English as a second language person or maybe someone with a cognitive disease so I'm not going to make fun of their syntax here but uh, this is a pretty common issue that uh, people have is, is that you've got a bunch of single loose socks and you know uh, the, where did those socks go? Do you, is this a common issue that you, you two have? No. Hmm. I knew a family that did something about that. Yeah. What did they do? They took their socks. Mm -hmm. When they took their socks off, they would safety pin them together. And then they'd put them in the laundry. And um, my dad called their dad a fucking loser. Why? Because of of that? Because of that. Mm. What's your dad's deal? I feel like that's pretty common. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Uh, I mean, I think that's pretty cool. I just cool. have a lot of socks. I don't really care if they're matched or. That too. That too. Well, I that's that's one way to do it. But if you want to not look like an idiot, uh, what you could do is uh, grab a grab a. Uh, Saying I look like an idiot right now just because I'm wearing two different socks. Yeah, yeah. You you kind of do. Okay. Are you wearing the same socks? I'm definitely wearing the same socks. Show us. Let's see. Well, <laughs> I don't want to show off, but. <laughs> anyway, uh, get yourself a hanger uh, and uh, preferably a pants hanger that you can add extra clips to. And when you find one of those loose socks, uh, chances are you'll likely run into the other one and you'll know exactly where they hang and uh, you'll have a home for them. To put the socks on hangers? Yeah. Or just, you know, wear whatever socks you want. This isn't or a, you know, be a fucking like a, idiot. You know, society doesn't have to hold you back. Yeah, just mm-hmm. you can just wear two different some socks. Some fucking asshole with a laundry podcast <laughs> thinks you <laughs> should always have matching socks. Some fucking asshole, huh? huh? What? No, I'm hypothetical. Sorry, hypothetical. hypothetical. Oh, who is? Are there other uh, fucking assholes with laundry podcasts? I'm sure. Fair enough. You know, it's funny. You had a goldfish growing up. Is it? Well, I had a. My family had a pet dog, but I uh, did not have a pet dog. You weren't a part of that decision? Uh, the, it was, uh, well, 
I was told that I had an allergy to the dog, so I would never really get to hang out with the dog. Was it an inside dog? Or it was an that? inside dog, yeah. Oh, okay. Did they so. keep you outside? No. I had a room and everything, but so. it was uh, on a different level than the rest of my siblings and my parents. What kind of style house? It was uh, just two floor, kind of your standard. You Which floor were you on? Second. First floor. Oh, first, first. first. Yeah, everybody lived upstairs, and I lived downstairs. But they had to... You know, was there a fire walk escape on the first floor to get to the second floor? So did the dog just never stair? go down? I'm sorry. Was there an outside stairs so they could avoid you? Um, no, That's but it, it was like a. I guess the stairs were. There's an upstairs and there's ground ground level where the front door was, and then there's like a basement level. So people weren't really interacting with me much. Um, but we did move eventually into a house with built-in laundry. And because I become the laundry carer of the family, uh, I would uh, I, I I slept in the laundry room. And you did everyone's laundry. Yes, but that was before I uh, went away to um, work study. On what? On what was your work study on? Oh, it was just a factory. What okay. kind of factory? Uh, it was a toy factory. Where? Where? Uh, it was in... When did they send you to this? About 15 years old. Oh, okay. So where at? What toys? Uh, what was your best memory about it? Was it? A, uh, it was in, I think, God, what was it? What, what? Chester, New Jersey. I think okay. it was mm-hmm. a Toys R Us factory. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was my job to just uh, make sure that the toys were not damaged when the boxes came in. So... I would see uh, just this influx of uh, really fun-looking toys, and I didn't have many toys growing up, so it was kind of a thrill to be a yeah, part totally. of that world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and uh, uh, I, I would get mm-hmm. to see those, and oh, yeah. there was a dust problem in the factory, so it did affect my breathing, and I did eventually have to leave for medical reasons. It sounds Are you like yawning? Sorry, no. Just... I mean, we were just you were talking about your family pet, and I thought I'd. When you left, then did your family get to use all of their house again? I think they hired someone to do the laundry. Like but they maid, could be in the other areas service. then when you weren't there. So you're saying none of your family shares a passion for laundry? No, because they kind of they kind of did they watch? gave that gift to me. <laughs> did they watch what you do laundry? I don't think they wanted anything to do with it. So you're not. So you're not familiar with people watching, because that's why. Well, no, and that's I, why you're I am because like bef- before we had the built-in laundry, I would they would drop me. This has been covered in a previous episode. But they'd drop me off at the laundromat on you know weekends, and uh, <laughs> we would uh, they wouldn't watch me, but you know people would kind of look out for me, being like, when are their parents coming home? Yeah, that's crazy, man. You're gonna write a book about it or something? <laughs> I have a podcast about it mm-hmm. actually. I think it would be better as a book. I agree. You know what? Uh, well, uh, there's the next bit. It's called the uh, the agitator. <laughs> Old for bumper. So you think you're hot shit, huh, Marky? <laughs> what is is this the fucking Do it, socks don't match? Are we still waiting for the bumper? Or? No, the no. bumper's over. Oh, okay. fucking piece of shit. Oh, oh. Uh, Do you yeah, just I'm talk like problem. that? What What's your fucking problem? He does just talk like that. Dude. Is this uh, just a part in the podcast where you can this let out? This is a segment this called the Agitator. Been, is right, this but Brett is it, or is this laundry? That's what is I'm, this the laundry excuse talking? Excuse me? That's what I'm wondering. Is, is this, this the laundry, laundry talking? talking? Is this the is laundry the talking? talking? Is the laundry, is the laundry <laughs> talking? Fuck you. This is the laundry talking. This is Brett talking. You would never be like this. This is, this the, is the laundry uh, the talking. The agitator segment. Uh, you know what an agitator is in a, in a washing machine? The clothes need to be agitated or else the, the detergent will not come in and out of the fabric. When you say just, come. What about it? I just yes, said I masturbate a lot. I don't feel like anyone asked that. <laughs> well, you were getting at it. That is not Talking about laundry, talking about cum. Yes, I've got cum in all of my clothes. Nice. So that's how you do your laundry, then? You that's, come in your clothes and then you wash them? Or certainly does not clean them. So it's a pre. 
ritual. It's not a. It has nothing to do with laundry. Can you explain it to us? I masturbate a lot because I'm pretty lonely. Into all of your clothes. Into all of my clothes. Just your clothes. Just my clothes. Just your clothes. Yeah. I wouldn't dare do it to someone else's clothes because I respect keeping your clothes clean. All right, this has gotten a little too heated for me. Well, uh, thanks for being guests on the show. Do you have any uh, plugs? Uh, no, man, just please, everyone, do self-drop off. Let's, you know, make this podcast obsolete. No offense, no offense. Okay, so if people tune in, this is a good next week. People will tune in, and I will have dropped off clothes. And you can Whoa. talk about that oh, then. Okay. Then you'll about. have something to talk about. Yeah, and uh, hopefully my guess is decent. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, probably not. Yeah, whatever. Is that it? Yeah, you could see yourself out. Okay. Do you? Do we tip you? Why would you tip me? Because you look like you need it. <laughs> uh, I've got, I've got three dollars. Yeah, give him three dollars, Kels. They don't need your money. Just no, it's him, just three dollars. It, it's not. It's almost nothing to me. Yeah, go get some fucking three? dryer sheets. This is three. And dryer oh. sheets cost more than three dollars. Okay, two for you. Okay. And one for. One for you. All right. Well, uh, so that's just two dollars then. Thank, right. thank you. Um, I'm sorry I talked about the third dollar in front of you. All right. Don't make a mess. You're knocking over the detergent. Uh, that fold was not perfect. It was a pretty perfect fold considering I did in the air. We've got limited space. Um, I don't think zoom. anyone would say it was a perfect right, fold. I'm, I've I'm. Okay. i been ready this whole time. You've been ready to leave the whole time? The whole time. Cool. I was just good to see you. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Good to, good to be. All right. Okay. Have fun. Thanks for being. Forever <coughs> Dog. This has been a Forever Dog production. Executive produced by Dog. Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, and Alex Ramsey. For more original Dog. podcasts, please visit foreverdogpodcasts.com and subscribe Dog. to our shows on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your Dog. podcasts. Keep up with the latest Forever Dog news by following us on Twitter and Instagram at Forever Dog Team and liking our page on Facebook. Can you afford to not know what left-handed radio is? You probably answered no, right? That's that's where you landed. <laughs>